Hello, this is Jonathan Johnson here again today, working with a Windows Server 2008 inside of VMware. Today we're going to be doing Activity 5-10, Creating a Namespace Root. Our objective is to configure a namespace root. The description for this activity is, Creating a namespace root is an important configuration step for DFS. In this activity, you, you create a new namespace root. Don't worry whether a namespace root already exists, because you use the same steps to install the first namespace root and additional ones. The file service roles with DFS should already be installed. Also, have in mind a name, a name for the namespace, such as data plus your initials. So first off, we're going to log on to our server, which we've already done. Let's close this. We don't need that right now. All right, so we're going to click Start. Point to Administrative Tools. And we're going to click DFS Management. Alright, we're back. So now that we made the changes we need to make, we're going to go into Start, Hover of Administrative Tools, click right here, DFS Management. Notice we open up the DFS Management okay, Control Panel tab box. In the DFS Management window, we're going to click the Action Menu. So up top on the top taskbar, we'll click Action Menu. And then we're going to click DFS Management in the tree. Wait, I think I skipped something. We're going to click Right, menu at the top of the window, or right-click DFS management in the tree. Okay, right, right-click DFS management. All right. We're going to enter the name of the server to hold the namespace. The name of the server you are using, and then click next. So, we're going to ent enter the name of the server to hold the namespace. Okay, so the name server will be I'm just gonna put server two thousand eight. Oh wait a minute. We cannot use that. One second here. One second. Whoop, press on pause it. Alright, so what we're doing is putting the name of the server in to it here. Right now I'm putting in the name of the server we're using, JYJ five. J Y J five F5AR, F5AR, notice they're all capitals, F5AR, ZMR dot, ZMR dot, now it doesn't go capital because we changed it to dot JJComp dot com, dot JJComp dot com, we changed it to that before in a recent video. So now we got that set up, we can close this one. We got that typed in, okay. We hit next. Okay. A namespace server. Now we're gonna type namespace and name settings. Alright, now we're gonna enter the namespace and we click next. Now we did. We're gonna leave domain based namespace as the default selection and click next. Namespace and name settings, alright. So, this is going to be a public one. So, put that to public. Actually, wait. We'll just leave that in. Well, we have to put it something, I guess. So, let's put it as public. Public. Next. We leave this stuff here. Next. Okay. Now, we're going to click create. So, now notice right here it clicks create namespace. All right. In progress. Um, we're going to leave the DFS management window and open for the next activity. All right, now it's created. Well, I don't, I'm not going to leave it open. And that's how you, that's how you uh, create a namespace root in Windows Server 2008. Basically, all this is doing is creating a namespace root. So in the future, you can add folders and folder targets using DFS to that namespace. Um, so all a, na all a namespace is is like do uh, network use, administ you know, Administrator rights, you, can, you mainly you have to use to have it. DFS management is like, you know, okay, namespace, name this uh, root to this file. Pretty much what you're saying. So that's all I have for you in this video on Activity 5-10, creating a namespace root. I hope you learned a little something. Thank you. Have a nice day. See you in the future videos. Bye.